because, well, America, let's talk about the United States. Um, we like to say America, like as if it's the only America when there's Americas, but that's kind of weird. In the United States, we understand that um, without um, looking into it, it's our unnoticed bias that majority of Jewish people are white. And I think that the government itself, the politicians, not not the not the people, they scapegoat that and they and they and they um use that for their own agenda. But when you talk to people from South America, you also mm-hmm. talk to people from Ethiopia, um, especially, you learn that that Jewish genetically is very diverse. And even the non even the non-Hebrew Ethiopians are Semitic. The yeah. Ethiopians speak a Semitic language, mm. um, and even people from Malta are Semitic. Maltese mm. is the only Semitic language um, in in Europe. It, it sounds a lot like uh, like Tunisian Arabic, uh, Maltese, the Maltese language. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's Hebrews Ethiopians that actually have Hebrew blood. I'm not just talking about converts; they prove through DNA. They migrated to Israel thinking they were going to be treated good. But they were treated terribly because that's a regime that's run by the more elite Ashkenazim white uh, uh, Israelis. And there's some Ashkenazi mm. people that, you know, their DNA might show them half Middle Eastern. But by how they're acting and how they look, of course, a lot of them, some of them are tan. But uh, they're more European than anything. And, and so what's largely ignored is that there is a minority of the Jewish community that's Sephardic. And then there's several Jewish figures that are anti-Zionist, not just religious ones, like from the Orthodox. Um, so a lot of that's ignored. Yeah, yeah. I mean... I will, I will, I will, I would love to hear. I would love to get resources on that, um, Alex. If you have any, I will. That's something that I'm very, very factuated about, especially in Africa. Um, you know who's because, in Brazil right now? One of the most anti-famous anti Zionist Jews, and some people don't say he's anti Zionist, but at least he's critical of Zionism. Chomsky. Mm-hmm. Chomsky retired to Brazil. His second wife is a uh, Brazilian Jew, um, and she's a progressive, and um, he's been having some health issues. But yeah, he happens to be down there right now too. Oh wow! I didn't right. know. That. Hopefully, hopefully he's given. Hopefully he is he is he's consulting with Lula a great deal. Mm. Well, yeah. It's hopefully like, he rec- he recuperates and he can communicate with Lula. Lula's doing a lot of good things. Um, well, the I'm thing is, we want to make. They fought like hell to get to fascism right. out of right. there. What's that? We fought. Well, there was a hard fight to get fascism out of Brazil. Absolutely. We don't want it, and and I certainly and right now what we're seeing in Latin America. We are seeing, we're seeing a con. We had this little moment, but now when Colombia is shifting to the left, something's up, mm. and something's up, and mm. and El Norte's understanding something up. Look at Mexico, look at mm. what we're seeing. Look at what we're starting to see in El Salvador, in Guatemala. We are starting to see the continuation of a movement left in Latin America. We are starting to see that move left. And a big part of that was what happened in Brazil. When, but the problem is Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro is chilling in Miami. We're all fat. We're well, all Bolsonaro, 